the center. And I just want to give everybody a warm welcome and let traffic build a little bit, talk a little bit about Rhythmy, and then get into what our specific topic of today, which is going to be great if you've done plant medicine before and if the mother told you something uh -huh, about your future. It's super, super, super important, okay? And this is called uh, Messages from the Medicine One. Uh -huh. So we're, we're going down a whole new path now. Uh, I want to talk about a couple different things. Rhythmia Life Advancement Center is a plant medicine center that uses multiple modalities to bring about an incredible change in your life. How do I know this? Because we keep surveys on everybody who's ever been here. There's been about 8,000 people here through the doors. And what we've learned so far is that 96.23% of them, that's 962 out of every thousand, have a life-changing miracle during their stay. Uh -huh, they report it. The better part about that is over 97% six months later say that that miracle is still working in their life. And they are, uh, uh, and that this was the week that changed their life. I just have to see how I can see those. I can't. Uh huh. I don't know how to see the messages. I don't know. Oh, here they are. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Hi, everybody. Hey, Jen. Good morning. Beautiful. How are you? Yeah, so I want to talk about that so that 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 this was the week that changed their life. Uh huh. Now, uh, Rhythmia is super busy. People come from all over the world, from all walks of life, from like uh, regular business people to, to people from the service industry to like actors and actresses, musicians, politicians, uh, <clears throat> Actors, actresses, musicians, celebrities, sports people, all kinds of people come here uh, to experience this program. And what does this program do? Well, this program actually merges you with your soul. It actually merges you with your soul. Uh -huh. So what does that mean? Well, we believe, we believe that something happens between, between uh, when you were born or excuse me, when you were conceived and about six years old that split you from your soul and that this process that we have at Rhythmy is designed to put you back. Uh -huh. It's actually plant medicine doing it, but it's we create the, the opportunity for that to occur. We do. Uh -huh. So I want to talk about it. So one of the things that, that has become a very hot topic on ayahuasca sites, and I go to these different ayahuasca groups on Facebook and in different things. And, and one of the hottest topics is this, the medicine told me something. Is that true? The medicine told me that I'm going to get this particular job. The medicine told me that I'm going to be in this particular relationship. The medicine told me that this is financially something that's going to happen to me. The medicine told me that that something was going to happen in my family. Uh -huh. Do I believe it or don't I believe it? And what are the responses? Now, on one of the ayahuasca sites, <clears throat> I have to say this, arrhythmia, it's, it's very, 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 very high percentage of what the medicine says versus what turns out happening in people's lives. Now, I don't keep statistics on it, and it's only anecdotal what I can tell you, but I can tell you from my own life, with my life, it's almost 100%. And I'm going to tell you my theories as to why that is. And I saw other sites. I saw one of the ayahuasca sites, one of the moderators. In the medicine, tell someone something and have that thing happen. And I can't believe that because here it happens so frequently. And when I say the vast majority, I mean the vast, vast, vast majority. What is it about it, though? What is the system with it? Well, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, <clears throat> the medicine tells you your highest possibility. Fact, the medicine tells you your highest possibility. Now, there is no way she can tell you that you have the possibility of this and then have you go back into your life and you do nothing about it and then complain when that doesn't happen. It's not how it works. The medicine does not bend the universe to your favor. I can prove that to you because I could, I could do a cer uh, ceremony all night and then jump off a three-story building and break my legs. The universe does not, the medicine does not bend the universe to you. What it tells you is your possibilities. This is your possibility. Should you wish to engage 
What do I mean, should you wish to engage? I mean this, and I'm going to tell you why I think that it happens so much at Rhythmia. Um, Rhythmia attracts a particular type of person, and usually that person has the ability to manifest for themselves to start with. Uh huh. So when the medicine tells one of our clients or one of our customers, one of our guests, something, that person knows how to enact that thing. They know how to energy to energetically vibrate that thing. They know how to bring that thing into their life. They understand. Uh huh. So if the medicine tells you that you're a queen and you're going to be with the prince, uh huh, and it even gives you the name of the prince and the age of the prince, da 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 and you come out and you don't vibrate like a queen, if you're still jealous, if you're still insecure, if you're still um, uh, dishonest, if you're da-da-da-da-da, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. So, so what is it about the medicine that, that, what is the great thing that the medicine is telling us? The medicine is showing us the opportunity for us if we agree to elevate. Uh-huh. The opportunity for us if we agree to elevate. And what does that mean? If the medicine says that you're going to get this particular job, uh huh, you have to commit fully to getting that job. You have to vibrate as if you're having that job. You have to act as a person. Uh huh. Because in all scenarios, right, you're either a beneficial presence or you're not. If you're going after, let's say, a man or a relationship and you can be a beneficial presence in that relationship, you get it. Uh huh. If you're not a beneficial presence, you'll get burned out and spit out of it. Uh huh. In a job, if you're a beneficial presence to that company, you're going to stay there and go higher and higher and higher. If you're not, you're going to get spit out. There is no difference. The laws don't apply to you in a different way after you do the medicine. What can happen is that the word she gives you becomes your lodestar. The word she gives you becomes your ideal. The word she gives you becomes the thing that you become. That's what's supposed to happen, and that's how it's supposed to happen. I want to give you a little thing. I say that the medicine almost in my life is almost 100%. I'm going to show you a situation where she wasn't. Uh huh. I own a domain that I've had for probably 15 years called thin, T-H-I-N dot com. And one night in ceremony, maybe a year ago, she came to me and she told me, I'm going to sell thin dot com for, I think, $5 million. And it was supposed to happen, I think, in 2020. Uh huh. Now, it's we're at the end of 2020. We have a couple days left and that didn't happen. Very rare that that doesn't happen for me. Almost everything she tells me happens. And I reflected upon this when I was going over this thing and I'd say, why didn't that happen? Well, here's the bad news. I didn't do anything about it. I didn't advertise it. I didn't try to find a buyer. I didn't do my part. And if I don't do my part, I can't get what's in my future. Uh huh. I have to participate. So Let's talk about these things. Let's talk about it. I know people that the medicine tells them something. They leave that leave in that moment. They believe what the medicine said. Then 5, 10, 14 days later, they don't believe it. And without belief, you're never, ever, 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 ever going to get it. You have to first believe and commit to it fully. And when I say commit to it fully, like when, when, uh, she said that Rhythmy was going to be the number one spiritual center in the world, uh, uh, the number one spiritual center in the world. She didn't say it was going to be easy. She didn't say um, if you want it, like she didn't give me a half-assed thing and I didn't take it half-assed. I latched into it and I said, I'm going to meet her. I'm going to meet the mother because I'm going to do the earth work so that what she told me can be true. Uh huh. I'm going to do the earth work so that what she told me can be true. If you do this medicine and you think that I'm going to do the medicine and magically all of this shit is going to happen to me, you're not only doing medicine, you're smoking something else. Uh huh. Because it's an impossibility. You can't do the medicine. Let's say the medicine said I was going to start a company and sell the company for a billion dollars. Uh huh. So I do the medicine and then what do I do every day for the next 10 years? 
I wait for something to happen, not going to happen. <laughs> Nobody's going to come in, start a company for me, build it and sell it for me. It's not how it works. If she tells you that you're going to meet the man of your dreams, you have to be the woman of your, of his dreams. Uh-huh. If she's going to tell you you're going to have the relationship to end all relationships, you have to become it. If she's going to tell you you're going to get the job of all jobs or you're going to be the best painter who ever lived, you got to start painting. Uh -huh. This is not something I'm telling you. What's so interesting about the medicine is that, 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 um, that when she tells a certain type of person that they're going to get something, they always get it. Now, because we live in an all things possible universe, everybody can change. What do we see at Rhythmia? We see a lot of people that were fractured who come back together as whole. And from this whole spot, they get everything they want in the universe. Why? Uh -huh. Number one, the medicine told them it's a great thing. This is how some people work. When the medicine tells me something, I get all excited because I know that that's a possibility for me if I raise my game to meet it. I get all excited uh -huh. because I know that's a possibility for me. If I, Some people, it tells that too. And you know what they do? They start to doubt. If there's doubt in your game, you're in trouble because the first time the universe resists, you quit. You quit. Uh huh. You quit and you say it was the medicine's fault. That's ridiculousness. That is utter madness. Uh huh. So let's talk about this. Let's be, let's be real. You cannot use the wood and not replant the tree. You can't do it. It's not sustainable. It's not how it works. The universe works in kind. It does. Uh huh. You work hard, you get the reward. You believe, you get the reward. You cut down the tree and use the wood, you plant a new tree. Uh -huh. This is not about just sitting here and using resources. Uh, that's, that's, that's faulty thinking. I'm not saying you're a bad person if you think faulty. I'm saying to think that you're somehow special, that you're going to get this opportunity that nobody else got, and the, the universe is going to bend to your needs, that's crazy. You know what the beautiful gift of the universe is? The opportunity to make all this happen for you. You're given a ticket to the dance, whether you dance, whether you complain, whether you cry about it, whether you think you got, uh, you got passed over because of it, you're given the same ticket that everybody else is given. Uh -huh. And you have the opportunity to make the most of it. And what the, what the medicine is showing you She's saying to you that she doesn't care where you're from. She doesn't care your circumstances. <clears throat> she doesn't care that you're short or she doesn't care that you're overweight or she doesn't care that you're not as smart. She's giving you the opportunity for this life and the opportunity to become anything that you want to become. And I mean become anything that you want to become. That is the absolute gift of this. Uh huh. So... So what are the things that are needed in order to make this happen? I would much rather talk about how do I make the things that the universe told me happen than I ever would about why it didn't happen for particular people. Uh huh. So let's talk about how we make it happen, right? We make it happen like you would make anything else happen. Uh huh. She told you that you're going to become, um, um, or you're going to be an actress or an actor. Uh -huh. Well, the first thing I want to do is study acting. And then the next thing I want to do is go on as many casting calls as I can go. Uh -huh. And I want to be relentless and I want to get better at my craft and I want to be better at it. And I want to live, eat, sleep, breathe it. I want to feel it. I want to vibrate like it. And I got to tell you, if you do those things, it'll happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you don't, I can assure you it won't. You can't be sitting in the condo in WeHo and have <clears throat> uh, a famous producer who happens to be cleaning your carpet come in and discover you. It's not how it works. It's not the nature of the universe. So what I'm telling you is absolutely the greatest news, the absolute greatest news, and that is this. The opportunity that she showed you is real. The gift is not the opportunity. Uh-uh. The gift is becoming the equal of it. 
so that you can accept it. The gift is not the opportunity. The gift is not the person who she said you could be with. The gift is not the relationship that she talked about. The gift is not the job. The gift is not the profession. The gift is not the family. The gift is becoming that person who accepts that because you are it. And all the fun is in the becoming, not in the getting. Anybody who's ever had a bunch of money, uh, anybody who's ever gotten, sold a company and gotten a check or, and whatever that is to you, whether it's a million dollars or $10 million or, or, or $500 million or whatever it is, will tell you the letdown that they feel after getting it. They will tell you, uh-huh, ask anybody, ask anybody, uh-huh, because it's not in the getting of the check. It's not in the counting of the zeros. It's not in any of that. It's in the you becoming that person to create that company that vibrated that highly, that, that got people involved and shared as much as you did that allowed the sale of that company to occur. It's in your perseverance. Those are the great things. Those are the juice of it. Uh -huh. It's not that you have this fantastic relationship. It's that you become a person who can have that relationship. Uh huh. It's not that you got that job. It's that you became worthy of that job. Do you understand the thing? This is what the, med what the medicine is saying to you is, yes, Mary, you are worth it. Yes, Joseph, you are worth it. Now, you can't say that. You can't hear that, then reject it and ex expect to get the thing. It's not how it works. When the medicine sees you in your wholeness and you feel this in your wholeness, that you're becoming this person, you feel this great love, you see your greatness, you see your beauty, you see your, your happiness, you see who you are. In that moment, you are it and all things are possible. Uh huh. If two weeks later you change your mind about it, you're no longer it, you no longer believe, guess what? It's no longer possible. You, uh -huh, you are creating this destiny for yourself every second, every second. Uh -huh. And unless you believe, unless you're committed to this person, unless you, you're committed to this profession, <coughs> unless you're committed to this company, unless you're committed to this family, unless you're committed to this relationship, it ain't going to happen uh huh. because life happens. See, in medicine, in the medicine, all of the bliss in the truth is occurring. And then down on earth, life happens. The bliss and the truth are there, but there's other stuff that we have to wade through in order to, to stay connected with it because the universe will always test us. The universe will say, how do you want this? And in the greatest way, I have to tell you something, uh, you know, there's divine masculinity, there's divine femininity. One of the things that's divine of both is intention. When you walk through vibrating like this thing is all, whether you're a man or a woman or, or whatever, when you do that, everything around the universe actually bends toward you. The universe bends toward you. If you're unsure, and, and usually the unsure starts in do I want it? What am I, I mean by this? I'm in a relationship and I'm constantly wondering if the partner is right for me. That ain't it. But if you're in it or you have an idea of the partner and you want it uh -huh, and you really want it, and let's use a business for a second. If you're in a business that you're not even sure that you like, it ain't ever going to happen. You have to love that business like your own child. You have to care about it like your own child or your dog. Uh-huh. And the same thing with everything, with your profession. If you don't care about it like that, if you're not fully on board, the messages are going to get mixed. But once you are, you see, the medicine can't bend the universe toward you, but you can. What am I talking about? The medicine toward you, but you can. Vibration and inertia. Uh huh. When rhythmia moves, we move as a unit. There's 150 souls that are pushing this towards a particular place. And those 150 souls in motion gather a vibration and more souls to make it occur and occur and occur. Uh huh. The same thing with you and your relationship. The same thing with you and your business. 
The same thing with you and your profession, because it's never easy. If you're an actor, a musician, an artist, an artisan, like if you if you're if you're a painter or or a pottery person, whatever, it's never easy to get amazing at your craft. It's hard work, and most people give up right before they get really good. Uh huh. I say to use the medicine as a lodestar. She told me rhythmia would be the best, and therefore, even though on certain days it doesn't look like it, I know that ultimately it is truth, and I agree to it. And I give everything to it. And that's the gift of the medicine. Huh? So the gift of the medicine is not like getting a Christmas gift. It's not saying, okay, hi, Bob, you're going to be the president of the president of whatever bank. There it is. And you just sit and wait. I got my present. Uh -huh. I'm just going to sit and wait for it to happen. It is not how it works because it is not how the universe works. The medicine is nature. Nature is the universe. They act the same way. Uh huh. It's a participatory universe. You have to participate in order to get it. Uh huh. You have to participate. If you fail, you fail, and then you try again. Uh huh. If you're not enough to get that relationship, if you're not enough to get that job, if you're not enough to get that business, then you continue. Uh huh. You say, okay, and this is where truth comes in. Hey, this is where I failed. This is how I failed. This is what I'm going to change. And I'm going to suit up and get on the next one. Boom. That's it. And if you do that, the universe is never wrong. The medicine is never wrong. Uh -huh. But if she tells you something and you fail to vibrate there, and then you turn on her and say she lied to you, well, she doesn't care what you say, but you're screwing yourself. Uh huh. Because the universe is not... The, the universe is not, uh, uh, what's the word? The universe is not going to punish you. You're going to punish you. Uh -huh. The universe is not punitive. It is not. Uh -huh. It's factual. And well, it looks punitive when somebody jumps off a building. Well, uh -huh. the universe wasn't punitive. They were. Uh -huh. They jumped. The universe didn't jump them. Right? right? Uh-huh. Do you get it? This is clear and simple stuff. This is nature at its finest. Uh huh. So that is my commentary on the medicine lied to me or the medicine didn't fulfill its promise. That is my commentary. It never lies. Uh -huh. And because of this, I'm going to go back in and start advertising thin.com because, because it told me to do it and I didn't do it and I'm going to do it. Uh huh. Cause I want to, I want to get that sold. So, I want to tell you guys, I thank you. Have a beautiful, beautiful week. Believe and you will achieve. If you just believe, if you believe that, 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 because she never lies, you could become that thing, then work on becoming it so that thing becomes yours. That's beautiful. God bless you. God keep you. God hold you. Hey, this week, we're going to be busy at Rhythmia. Next week, we're going to be busy at Rhythmia. Please get here because this is where it all starts. This is the beginning of the thing that goes like this. Uh huh. You're you are here. Uh huh. And everything is going to come around you. Beautiful. God bless you. God keep you. God hold you. And we will talk to you next week. Cheers.